On Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, 2024, tragedy struck at Lakewood Church in Houston. You may know the name of the church. It is the third largest church by membership in the United States, led by celebrity pastor Joel Osteen. During Lakewood Church's afternoon Spanish language worship service, 36-year-old Janes Yvonne Moreno unleashed chaos within the megachurch, leaving a trail of devastation in her wake. Her actions would forever alter the lives of those present and ignite a search for answers in the aftermath of the horrific event. In the heart of Houston, on a fateful day in February, tragedy struck at Lakewood Church, shattering the peace of a Sunday afternoon. Just before 2 p.m., the tranquility of the church was shattered. As Janessa Moreno emerged from her SUV, a shadow of darkness trailing behind her. With her seven-year-old son by her side and a heavy bag slung over her shoulder, she stepped into the sanctuary, armed with a deadly arsenal concealed beneath her coat. As the congregation bowed their heads in prayer, chaos erupted within the sacred walls. Moreno, consumed by a madness that defied comprehension, unleashed a storm of bullets upon unsuspecting worshippers. Off-duty, law enforcement officers, caught in the crossfire of her fury, bravely confronted the assailant in a desperate bid to end the bloodshed. Among them, a 28-year-old officer of the Houston Police Department and a 38-year-old agent with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, both with less than five years of service, stood firm in the face of danger. With courage in their hearts and duty coursing through their veins, they engaged the shooter, risking their lives to protect the innocent. But the battle exacted a toll that could never be repaid. Moreno fell beneath a hail of gunfire, her life snuffed out in an instant of violence and madness. Yet even in death, her legacy of destruction lingered on, casting a shadow of grief over the community she had torn apart. The chief of police, his voice heavy with emotion, praised the bravery of those who had confronted the shooter, acknowledging the magnitude of their sacrifice in the line of duty. But as the dust settled and the echoes of gunfire faded, a somber truth emerged. The wounds inflicted upon the soul of the city ran deep, leaving scars that would never fully heal. And amidst the chaos and the carnage, a young boy lay gravely wounded, his innocent spirit shattered by the cruelty of fate. Samuel Moreno, just seven years old, bore the scars of his mother's madness, a silent testament to the senseless brutality that had unfolded within the walls of Lakewood Church. As the community grappled with the aftermath of the tragedy, their hearts heavy with sorrow and grief, they vowed never to forget the lives that had been lost and the heroes who had bravely stood in the face of evil. And as they mourned the loss of innocence and the shattered dreams of a brighter tomorrow, they prayed for healing and redemption in a world torn apart by violence and despair. In the aftermath of the chaos, a grim tableau of tragedy emerged. Janessa Moreno, once full of life, now lay cold and lifeless, her soul extinguished by the flames of her own madness. But the toll of her rampage extended far beyond her own demise. As the dust settled, the full extent of the horror became painfully clear. Samuel Moreno, just a child, fought for his life in a hospital bed, his young body ravaged by the cruel hand of fate. Reports trickled in, each one more heart-wrenching than the last. The child, so innocent and pure, had endured unimaginable suffering, his fragile form pushed to the brink of oblivion. His grandmother, a pillar of strength in the face of unspeakable sorrow, shared updates on social media, each word a testament to the anguish that gripped her soul. He went into cardiac arrest multiple times, she wrote, her words a haunting echo of the pain that had consumed them all. A portion of his frontal lobe lost, she continued, each syllable a dagger to the heart. Half of his right skull surgically removed in a desperate bid to save his precious life. But Samuel was not the only casualty of Moreno's rampage. Another individual, a 57-year-old man, bore the scars of the confrontation, a reminder of the fragility of life in the face of unchecked violence. The community, reeling from the shock of the senseless bloodshed, grappled with a question that defied comprehension. 
What could drive a mother to unleash such horror upon the sacred grounds of a church? What darkness lurked within her soul, compelling her to bring her own child into the heart of the storm? As the community searched for answers amidst the wreckage of shattered lives, their hearts heavy with grief and disbelief, they clung to the hope that somehow, some way, they would find solace in the midst of the chaos. And as they mourned the loss of innocence and the shattered dreams of a brighter tomorrow, they vowed never to forget the lives that had been lost and the legacy of pain that had been left in the wake of Moreno's madness. In the murky depths of Moreno's past, a troubling narrative unfolds, revealing a woman battling inner turmoil and struggling with a past filled with conflict, documented issues with mental illness and a litany of run-ins with the law paint a portrait of a soul adrift in a sea of darkness, grappling with forces beyond her control. As investigators peel back the layers of Moreno's troubled past, a tangled web of aliases and legal entanglements emerges, each thread a testament to the chaos that lurked beneath the surface. Reports of emotional detention orders and a string of arrests spanning decades cast a shadow of suspicion over Moreno's motivations, leaving authorities scrambling for answers in the wake of her deadly rampage. But amidst the tumult of Moreno's tumultuous life, one question looms larger than all others. What drove her to unleash such horror upon the unsuspecting worshippers of Lakewood Church? Was it the spectre of her own mental health struggles? Or perhaps a bitter feud with her ex-husband's family that fueled her descent into madness? As local news stations uncover divorce records and custody battle documents, a chilling portrait of dysfunction and despair emerges. Each revelation, a dagger to the heart of a community, grappling with the fallout of Moreno's heinous actions. Accusations of deliberate harm and manipulation cast a pall over the once peaceful halls of Joel Osteyan's megachurch, leaving congregants reeling in disbelief at the depths of human depravity. In the midst of the chaos, a grandmother's anguished cries for justice echo through the corridors of power. Her pleas for accountability, a stark reminder of the failures of a system ill-equipped to protect the most vulnerable among us. And as the community struggles to make sense of the senseless, they are left to grapple with the sobering reality that in a world plagued by violence and despair, no one is truly safe from the darkness that lurks within us all. Amidst the shattered remnants of tranquility at Lakewood Church, Law enforcement agencies raced against time to unravel the twisted tapestry of events that had unfolded within its hallowed halls. Armed with body cam and security footage, investigators delved deep into the heart of darkness, piecing together the harrowing confrontation that had left a community reeling in shock and disbelief. With each frame, a chilling portrait of chaos emerged offering a glimpse into the frantic efforts of officers to stem the tide of violence unleashed by Moreno. The footage, a testament to the bravery and determination of those who had risked their lives in the line of duty, laid bare the stark reality of a world torn apart by senseless bloodshed. But as investigators combed through the rubble of Moreno's troubled past, they encountered a maze of aliases and hidden truths each revelation a grim reminder of the demons that had haunted her soul. Reports of anti-Semitic writings and a history of violence cast a shadow of suspicion over Moreno's motives, leaving authorities grappling with the elusive quest for answers. As the investigation unfolded, the Houston Police Department released a series of videos capturing the unfolding tragedy. Each frame a haunting reminder of the terror that had gripped the church on that fateful day. From Moreno's calm entrance to the frenzied exchange of gunfire, the footage offered a chilling glimpse into the heart of darkness that had descended upon the unsuspecting worshippers. But one figure stood out amidst the carnage. Samuel, Moreno's young son, caught in the crossfire of his mother's madness. As bullets flew and prayers whispered, his innocent form lay battered and broken, a silent witness to the brutality of fate. And as the dust settled and the echoes of gunfire faded, one question remained unanswered. Who bore the ultimate responsibility for the tragedy that had unfolded? 
With Moreno's death shrouded in uncertainty and Samuel's fate hanging in the balance, the community was left to grapple with the sobering reality that in a world plagued by violence and despair, the line between victim and perpetrator was often blurred beyond recognition. And the aftermath of unfathomable tragedy, a cacophony of sorrow and disbelief reverberated throughout the shattered community. Amidst the turmoil, voices rose in anguish and despair, each one a poignant testament to the profound impact of loss and grief. Among those voices, Rabbi Wali Karanza, Samuel's paternal grandmother, stood as a beacon of strength and resilience. In heartfelt reflections shared with the world, she bared her soul, laying bare the raw pain and anguish that gripped her heart. With every word, she pleaded for prayers and accountability, her voice a clarion call for justice in the face of unspeakable horror. Carranza's impassioned plea struck a chord with a community reeling from the shock of Moreno's heinous actions. She spoke of the tragedy as a completely preventable horror, a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of untreated mental illness and lax gun laws. With unwavering resolve, she called upon society to confront these pressing issues head on, refusing to let her grandson's suffering be in vain. But amidst the darkness, a flicker of hope emerged as the community rallied together in a show of solidarity and strength. Just weeks after the shooting, the congregation of Lakewood Church gathered once more, their hearts heavy with sorrow, yet filled with a renewed sense of purpose. In a poignant service of unity and healing, they sought solace in the embrace of faith, offering prayers for the wounded and the grieving alike. Yet even as they grappled with the enormity of their loss, Carranza's words echoed in their hearts, a reminder that the road to healing would be long and arduous. But with each step forward, they vowed to honor the memory of those lost to senseless violence, ensuring that their voices would never be silenced in the face of darkness. And as they looked to the future with hope and determination, they drew strength from Carranza's unwavering resolve knowing that in their collective efforts to confront the scourge of mental illness and gun violence, they could forge a brighter tomorrow for generations to come. The grandmother and rabbi ended her statement, may Hashem bless the hands of those who hold our child and bring him healing just as God did when he was born, at just 23 weeks. And may the memory of Kenezi Moreno Carranza be for a blessing in her death May we find a way to keep others from dying. Shalom, Rab I Wali Karanza. In the aftermath of the harrowing ordeal at Lakewood Church, the spotlight shifted to the courageous battle waged by young Samuel Moreno, a symbol of resilience in the face of unfathomable adversity. With each passing day, his struggle against the spectre of death became a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a beacon of hope illuminating the darkest of nights. Through the haze of uncertainty and despair, updates on Samuel's condition offered a glimmer of optimism, a ray of light piercing through the shadows of tragedy. Despite the countless hurdles that lay ahead, his grandmother, Rabbi Wali Karanza, stood as a pillar of strength, her unwavering faith a source of comfort and solace in the midst of the storm. In the wake of six surgeries and countless moments of anguish, Samuel's resilient spirit shone bright, a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable pain, there exists the possibility of healing and renewal. And as he gazed up at his grandmother with a smile, a fleeting moment of joy amidst the chaos, hope blossomed anew in the hearts of all who followed his journey. If you found this story intriguing, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more captivating true crime content. Stay curious, stay connected. Stay with Really Unreal.